If you've ever been to an aquarium, you will notice one thing immediately, and it's the fact that the aquarium has no great white shark. That's not only true for the aquarium in your state alone, it's true for aquariums all over the world. But why is this so? Why can't we capture great white sharks and get them in aquariums? Aquariums have tried to contain the world's largest predatory fish for decades. Institutions like Marineland, SeaWorld, and the Steinhardt Aquarium repeatedly took in white sharks during the 1970s, 80s, and times drawing huge crowds. But they never lasted long. Some needed help swimming. None of them would eat. The longest one lasted just 16 days. It wasn't until 2004 that the Monterey Bay Aquarium proved that it was possible to keep white sharks for at least six months. It took a massive effort, and no one's done it since. The Monterey Bay Aquarium had a million-gallon, egg-shaped tank 35 feet deep, designed for open ocean animals like tuna and sharks. Adult great whites reach 15 feet on average, the Monterey Bay Aquarium nabbed one in 2004 that was four feet, four inches, less than a year old. That made it easier to move and easier to keep. When they're young, they feed on fish. And as they get older, they transition to feeding more on mammals. So the Monterey Bay Aquarium targeted the age bracket where they knew they were more able to feed their natural diet. And once they collected the shark, they didn't take it straight to the aquarium. Instead, the Monterey Bay team set up a 4 million gallon pen right there in the ocean. That way, they could monitor the shark and see if it would feed before they moved it into a transport tank to travel from Southern California. So, what went wrong after six months? Sharks, like all fish, need to have water continually passing through their gills to get oxygen. Most species can open and close their mouths to pump the water through. But white sharks and a couple dozen other species don't do that. To breathe, they have to move forward through the water with their mouths open. That's why white sharks start to weaken as soon as they're caught in a net. And that's why they needed a custom-built transport tank with mobile life support. Just how back in 1984, Stinhart Aquarium transported a great white shark in a tank with IV fluids and a harness. Aquarium attendants jumped 30% while the shark was on display. After six and a half months, they decided to release it because it had killed two other sharks. Over the next six years, the aquarium displayed five more baby white sharks. Their stays ranged from just 11 days up to five months. But the sharks suffered from serious bad effects. They developed visible sores from bumping into the sides of the tank. Some shark species seem to do okay in aquariums. You'll see a lot of nurse sharks, zebra sharks, some reef sharks, but not the great white. Historically, aquariums kept sharks that lived near the seabed or near reefs. This is because it's easier to recreate those habitats in a tank. But in recent decades, aquariums have wanted to bring in bigger, more pelagic sharks, those that spend time roaming the open ocean. They've even been able to exhibit the largest shark in the world, the whale shark, but pelagic sharks are used to being able to swim long distances without obstructions, changing directions only as they please. So the faster-moving sharks like the white shark, mako shark, and blue shark have trouble with walls when they're put in a tank. That's what was happening with the Monterey Bay Aquarium's sixth white shark in 2011. They decided to release it after 55 days, and its tracking tag revealed that the shark died shortly after being released. They're not sure why. But since then, they haven't tried to bring in another great white shark. Not only that, but the tales of sharks dying in aquariums don't end here. An 11.5-foot great white shark was taken to an aquarium in Okinawa, Japan, after getting caught in a fisherman's net. It was the only adult white shark ever to be put on display, and within three days, it was dead. In conclusion... When great white sharks remain in closed spaces for too long, they get depressed, stop eating, and die from 16 days to 6 months. Sharks must swim for miles and miles. Otherwise, they can't breathe, and they have to keep moving so air and oxygen get into their bodies. These magnificent beasts are best kept in the oceans where they belong. <laughs>